Okay, so if you've been following along in this video series, um, we've now downloaded all of the, well, the three components that we need to emulate and program using the free tools that Rockwell Software, or Rockwell Automation gives us, rather. Um, that is the RS Logix MicroLogix Lite version, the free version, the RS Lynx Lite, the driver package that will allow us to communicate to various controllers, and the RS Logix Emulate 500 software that allow us to actually run and test and, and debug our programs without actually having the physical PLC hardware in front of us. Okay, so if you have been following along, you've now extracted and installed the software um, to your computer. So there's a couple little tweaks that we want to make sure that are that are set up uh, just to make sure you run error-free in, in a Windows 7 environment, okay? So let's just do that first. So let's just confirm. So I'm going to go to All Programs, Rockwell Software. I'm going to go to RS Logix Emulate 500 first. And you want to right-click on this and go Properties. What you want to make sure you have checked here, you notice I already do, is the run this program as an administrator. Make sure that box is checked. It won't be by default and click apply and OK. The next thing you want to do, and I'm in a Windows 7 64 uh, bit environment, so I had to do this in order to make the actually the RS Logics Micro Edition work properly, is right click again on this, properties, and under compatibility mode, you want to check run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and click apply click OK all right and that's it um, this, this took a little bit of, of monkeying around to, to get it to work but that ended up being the only thing I needed to do really to get things up and running here so okay so let's go ahead and get a little program up and running here so I'm gonna go to Rockwell software Rockwell or RS Logics Micro English and launch the application okay so this is our free version of RS Logics 500 so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project I'm gonna create it for a Micrologix 1100 series B click OK and let's just add I don't know what do you want to do let's 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 do a simple blinking type light here okay so T4 colon 0 and escape that We'll go one second, maybe we'll do a two second flashing timer. And let's add a little bit of input condition here. So, oops, so let's make this T4 colon one slash done. We haven't created that timer yet, but that's okay. We're gonna do that right down here. Let's create T4 colon one. And again, one second. Yes, and preset, we'll make it flash on and off every two seconds, that sounds reasonable to me and let's add our output rung now t4 colon zero slash done and let's put an output so we'll assume our light is wired into the first output point on our MicroLogix here and oh we forgot to add our input here okay so we'll use t4 colon zero slash done to do that and that should be enough to get a blinking light going here so let's just give this a description so just for completeness why not so this is a flashing light okay good let's go ahead and compile and make sure we have no errors which we don't good and let's go ahead and save this and let's give it a name i don't know let's call it test okay and we'll give the processor the same name as well test Click save and okay so we have a little program here good all right so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and launch RS Lynx classic now and let's say let's make sure we configure our emulator driver so you're gonna go up to communications configure driver hit the drop down here and you should see the slick 500 DH 45 emulator driver you're gonna click add new the default name is fine and the default station is fine and we'll click close okay so here we go we shouldn't really see anything yet because we haven't actually set up the emulator to to do anything yet so okay so let's go ahead and do that I'm just gonna maybe shrink this down a bit just so we have a few so we have it open over here maybe and let's go ahead and launch the emulator software now Click yes 
And what you want to do now is open the project that we just created. This uh, little program here that we just created and called test. And so here we go. We see it right here. So let's double click that. Uh, this look program must be compiled before it can be emulated. Okay, I thought we did that. But if we didn't, let's do it again. And let's save it. Okay, good. Let's try that one more time. Okay. And now the only thing we're going to change here is under the station number, we need to give our PLC a, a unique station number on our on our network, our RS Lynx emulate driver network. So we're going to make that one. We made our workstation zero, so we'll make this one and we'll click OK. And you can see we have it running here now and we want to just click, make sure it's running by clicking this run button. And as soon as we do that, if we go back to RS Lynx, we see that we actually have the PLC or the emulated PLC, our emulated Micrologics 1100 running here. Okay, perfect. So, so far so good. Okay, so I guess the only thing left to do now is to download our program into our emulated processor here. So I'm going to do that by going to comms, system comms. And you can see here, this is kind of a, 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 a look into our RSLIX configurations here. I want to make sure our emulated processor is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and click download. And it's going to ask me if I want to do that. Do you want to download? Yes. Do you want to go online? Yes. And then I want to go ahead and click it into run mode. And click yes. Okay, and there you have it. We have a two second flashing light on and off. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, check out our website at www.plcgurus.net and thank you for watching.